Hi guys, my name is Jana and today I want to show you how to make a, a bracelet with two rows. Uh, we already did this pattern when we did the beginner's bracelet, but then we topped it with 4mm bicones and I now want to do it without 4mm bicones and show you how beautiful two rows a bracelet can be without any topping. Of course you can use one color and then go top in like you did on the uh, beginner's bracelet, but um, this is just to show you how to make two rows instead of just one. For this you're gonna need your two colors. These are bicones, six millimeters, and you need some seed beads. You can use round beads also, it doesn't really matter, uh, as long as they're about six millimeters. Don't do this in four millimeters because it will really be small and you would need five lines to get it a little bit wider. But if you do, if you're uh, able to do two rows, you might as well be able to do five rows. So who am I to say don't do uh, four millimeters? I'm going to use the 0 0.25 millimeter nylon again. I use two arm spans wide, and I'm going to start off with four clear bicones. One, two, three. And four. It doesn't matter if you put them on your right thread or your left thread. As long as the last one, you cross your threads in. There. And you pull that all the way down to the end. There. And now we're going to do one red on the right side. A clear on the left side and we're going to cross it in a red bead. Now these are going to basically be repeat steps but one time you will cross in a red bead and the next you will cross in a clear bead but the 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 red bead will always stay on your left thread on your right thread first and the clear one on your left thread first. So as I said, red bead goes right, clear bead goes left, and since we just crossed in a red one, we're now gonna cross in a clear one. Okay. And there you see the red one is going to be in the middle right here and that's on the way back. We're going to add that last red one on the right thread. So we're just going to continue for a bit with the right one on the right and the left thread gets a clear one on there and now we're going to we crossed in clear so we're going to cross in red and I'm going to show you one more time and then you can pause me because then you will get it I think I think you already got it but and even though this curls up it will be okay later on because there's going to be seat beats in between to uh, straighten that all out so the red one goes right and the clear one goes left and then we just crossed in red so we're gonna cross in clear and just continue that until you think your bracelet is long enough. So just continue this and pause me now. Okay, I am pretty much at the end, but I have a white block here at the end, or at the beginning where I start with. So I wanna do a white block at the end of this one. So I'm going to do one clear one on the left side and one clear one on the right side now. And I'm gonna push that down. And now we normally would cross in a clear one. But we're not going to do that because we need to turn around. We need to go back. So what we're going to do is we're going to add on the left one another clear bicone. 
and instead of crossing in this bike cone we're gonna go over to the other way and then we're gonna cross in the bike cone we put on the right thread this is where we're gonna cross and this is how you're gonna turn back there now we're on the side but we need to go all the way down so pull that tight and then we're going to do the top thread that you have here. We're going to add two clear bike cones. One and two. And let me show you what that means. That's the one that's going on top here. And that's the one that's going on the right side here. And now we need to cross our threads in a clear one. So that's how you make more rows. And you can do this with 6 millimeters, you can do it with 8 millimeters, but it's going to be really heavy. And you can do it with 4 millimeters. I uh, did it several times, making like 5 rows with 4 millimeters. It's a lot of work though. See? So now we're turning back. So, okay, let's get that towards us. Now, we need to attach this part to this part to keep that tight, of course. So, the red is already here. I don't have to put that on my thread. So, my thread goes through that first red bicone right here. Pull that through. And now that's attached. So, what we need now is a red bicone that goes here. And a clear bicone that goes there. So now we got the clear bicone on the right thread. And we're going to cross in the red bicone. How's that starting to look? It's pretty, isn't it? Okay, so now what we need to do is attach all these middle rows. So every time we need to use our left thread to go into that middle bicone there. And then we need a clear bead on the right side. And now you can see as you got this, you need to mirror the other side. So we need to cross now in a clear one, which is logical because we just crossed in a red one. So that's the clear one we're going to cross in now. There. Pretty, huh? Okay, now, next one. First the left thread through the red bicone. Clear bead on the right side. And since we crossed in clear, we're gonna now cross in red. So that stays the same. And you just do this all the way till you get back to the end. And I would say pause me now and start me again when you get to the end over there. Okay, I'm at the end now. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn back. And we're going to just turn it around again. I'm going to go take my right thread and put it in the clear bead on the right side. And now I'm going to add my seed beads in between all the bicones on this row. 
So that's all there is to it. Just skip the first one. Let me see. Don't put any seat bead in between here, okay? Just go around into the next seat bead and start there. And that's going to be pulling a little bit because this is still loose, but we'll take care of that later. We're first going to do that side. And then all the way to the end. And just pick it up, and bend it, shape it the way you want it so you can get your thread in there. Or just put your thread on a needle if you've got an eye that's big enough and just go through there. Because I don't like it when ends are not worked off properly. So we're gonna, this is just decoration so it looks a little bit prettier. Okay, so put the seed beads all between, all the way to the end, and pause me now. And when you get that done, just start me again. There, my last bead is coming out straight across. Put my last galvanized in there, and I'm going to pick up the other thread. Now, what I'm going to do is, we're going to go into the middle bicone, the clear one. And then I'm going to add a little galvanized bead and go into the red bicone. But I want something different in between the red beads. So I'm going to look for a black bead that's a little bigger. Pop. Yes, I'm back. I think I will take the black seed beads. These are black seed beads, size 8. Of uh, size eight, this is size eight. That's the first one. Is eight o four o one black seed beads. I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyway, I like these to be on top, so I'm going to put a black one on my thread, and I'm going to go into my red one. I like the way that looks. And then I'm going to take a galvanized again. I'm not pushing it all the way in there. Just sort of leaving that on top. Galvanized again. But you can put the galvanized in between there too, the smaller beads. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. It just all depends on what your taste is. I'm going to take a black one again. I'm going to do this all the way to the end, so pause me now and see what happens next when I get to the end. Now I'm going to take a piece of thread. Cut that off. And it needs to be long enough to go through there with some extra, extra space. I'm going to put that on a needle. And I'm going to start in the middle, and I'm going to go through the bicones, the seat beads, the bicones, all the way through the middle to that red bicone. Because here we're going to turn left, and we're going to go up so that the threads cross in the middle here. So this is just and leave enough till at the end but don't tighten it up and this is a bit of a tedious job but make sure you got all your bicones and all your seat beads and you went in through there so don't go in under any seat beads by any chance be careful what you're doing this is that little part where you become that perfectionist and make sure that every thread is where it's supposed to be and nothing will show even if you turn this uh, piece around and people will turn your pieces around if you plan on selling them at one time people will turn them inside out uh, these are not cheap pieces these are made of Swarovski if you get to that point where you're making them of Swarovski and you want to sell them trust me no matter how much or how cheap you are in selling them, um, people will always look at them inside and out, upside and down, and 
whichever way they can before they decide to buy something. Plus, I want you to be able to also give a year warranty with these kind of pieces and feel secure that your piece is put together perfectly. And it won't fall apart within a year from now. And if it does, it's not going to be your fault. So, I'm almost there. Doing the. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta go in this red one. And when you turn left, go in front of that last seat bead you added there. There. And also in front of this seed bead. There. And then in that bicone. And now is a good plan to pull your threads. So they're pretty much equal size on both sides. And here is where we're gonna cross one of the seed beads. both threads there one thread goes into by on the right There we go. And one goes into the bicone on the other side. And now I'm going to make, let's see, one, two, three. Four, five. Will that work? Five. Yeah, five will work. I'm always uh, playing around with these, always trying to make a better end to a, a bracelet. So you can all also start trying to do that if you like it another way. You might decide you want your threads coming out of the middle. Put a little loop there. I'm going to do it this way. And that's five. Let's see if that will fit. Maybe we need a seat bit more on both sides. Ah, that will fit. Double knot that carefully. There. Double knot it. Now, and now we're going to add seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. And we're going to cross another thread in there. And now one thread is going to go down to five on this side. Which is very hard to do if you wear a band-aid. The pleasures of an 8 gigabyte card means you're halfway through there. Almost done. And then 
your card gives up. Okay, so I managed to get that one through there. That means the other one will have to go through the other five seed beads on the other side. Oh, well that one easy. Bit surprised at that. Okay, and we got our loop. So, now what we're gonna do is we gotta tie this off. And I'm gonna bring out my needle. I'm a bit lazy. And, and we're gonna go to the other side. By cone. Seat beat by cone. And I think it's a good time to add that seat bead now. Down the bike home. Don't go through that seat bead. And then to the right. Let's take the other one. And meet up with that one. So, not going into the seat beat, going into the bicone, the seat beat, and the bicone there. Wow, oh, dear, I was afraid I wouldn't be able to get that. Oh, yeah, I get that through. Adding the seat beat. Going down. Let me see, where is that thread? Okay, it's over there. So that means I have to go that way. Going down through the seat bead, by cone, seat bead, by cone, seat bead, by cone in front of the seat bead to my right or to my left, and I'm going to go. So this is basically what I'm doing is I'm following a beaded path to come near that thread. Okay, so I'm going into the bicone that's red. And then in front of the seat bead into the bicone. And now my threads meet up. So I'm going to double knot that. Actually, I'm going to double knot that and then knot it again. And I'm going to go in this bicone with the knot in front of it. Pull that knot out of the way. One, two, three, and pop. Okay, now I'm gonna get my thread out of the way. There. And this one is gonna go down the bicone. And then I'm gonna cut that off one by one. Pull that, cut, pull that, and cut. So now basically what we have to do is do that also over here. 
And to do that, you will need to get this thread out first. Put that back in the bicone. And then go sideways because you got to meet up with this thread that won't go in there. Maybe it's easier with a needle. Sideways. And up. And in here. And the other thread. Goes in here. And this is where you cross with a seed bead again. Make that a little shorter. Push that through. Push the other one through. And then the five seed beads to add your loop and to finish your piece off. And that's it. Uh, all you have to do now is to add your jump rings and your clasp and you should be all set. Have another wonderful piece to add to your collection. Okay, see you next time guys. Bye bye.